guys, welcome to what is more than likely the first video of the channel. I've tried to do a couple other videos in the past on a can of different camera and it's having problems getting it off the computer. But anyway, we're on my phone now, so we're just gonna pick up where we're currently at. As you can see, we got plenty of parts here. We've finally got our pistons and rods in that we've been waiting on for quite a while. We go in the black truck here, the third gen. We're going for close to 2,000 horsepower, so this video is just gonna mainly be showing you what we got, what we're working with, and what we hope to do with it. We'll start, I guess, with the main centerpiece. We got waited on these for a while, but they're well worth the wait. It's a set of diamond four to eight, four pistons, already valve relief, 80 valves. Uh, big thanks to Josh McCormick. If y'all don't watch his videos, y'all need to go check him out at Horse Thorpe Diesel. Uh, he hooked us up, got us hooked up with the pistons and the rods. The uh, Pistons also came with a set of total seal rings, which are supposed to be the best of the best, basically gapless. And then we also got a set of DLC coated trunnions. Never used these before, but from what everybody says, top of the line stuff. So we got a set of those to go along with it. Diamond provides all this. Like I said, waiting on those for quite a while, but they uh, they seem to be top-notch stuff. So we're going to definitely put them to the test. Man, we was also waiting on rods for a while, but they uh, they actually come in early, which right now during all this COVID crap is really surprising. We got a set of the Waggler HD rods. I've seen so many sets of these and engines that come apart and the rod basically looks brand new after. I don't see a reason not to run a set of Wagners. So we got a set of those. And those will be going in a block that I got here. It's a, it's a core block that I bought. It's had a couple of pistons that knocked holes in them. It's kind of scuffed the cylinder walls up. But that's perfect for what we need because we're dropping it off at Steve Burton's place up in Virginia here in a few days. He's going to be sleeving the block, so really a scar in the cylinder don't don't mean crap to us. So moving on to the top end, we got a King Speed side draft that retains the factory intake horn. We got a Banks horn around here somewhere that's going to go there, but retains the factory intake style horn, which I like and it also it's notched for dual cp3s we're going to try to run a single pump haven't gotten it in yet we're going to try to run a single pump as long as we can until we start trying to really chase that 2k number we're going to go ahead and having everything here for 2k just in case we're ever able to get there but the goal is about 1700 for now attached to the other side of the head we've got a steed speed competition t6 manifold straight flange obviously one way skate i found it on facebook brand new guy had it and instead of waiting we just figured we'll go ahead and pick that up hold down the head for right now haven't made up my mind we got i bought a set of 14 mil studs a while back when i was thinking about doing a hamilton block and they already come 14 mil uh, we may do six may go back and get a set of 625s and hang on to these we may go ahead and get that block drilled out for 14s not sure yet but the bottom will for sure have uh, 14 mil studs that Steve's going to do drill out and he takes his own girdle from New Performance Automotive at his shop up there. For push rods, we got a set from Power Driven. Like I said, Josh, now they've, they've really hooked us up with a lot of stuff. So they've been real helpful. Stage threes, uh, the heat treated ones, I believe that's the highest rated ones they have, if I remember correctly. Uh, picked this up a while back. It was new when it came out and I had just seen it. Decided so I wanted to go ahead and get one. It's a single CP, single CP3 kit from A2 that also deletes the, I don't know if y'all can see that here, but it deletes the fan hub. So it just really cleans up the engine bay a whole lot and trying to run a sing, single pump. A lot of people have belt kits for dual pumps, but uh, they come out with a really nice kit. But it's just for a single pump, regular water pump, not electric, and delete the fan hub, so that's real nice. And what everybody likes to look at, we've got a forced inductions 
91, and I believe it's a 103. It's stamped 104 here, or they wrote 104 on it. I'm pretty sure when I bought it from Chris Gilball, he said it was a 102, but I've seen a lot of guys have forced induction 91, 103s. I'm not 100% sure. It's one of the TDI lines, but it's right around in that range somewhere. I know it's 91 up front, and it's a 132 AR housing. We're going to probably get a 115 for most of what street driving this truck will do and the lower tune track passes, but when we really want to chase that bigger number to keep down on drive pressure and just try to make that big horsepower number way up in RPM, we'll go ahead and throw the 132 housing on there. So we've got that. And uh, so far that's about it. The game plan on the fuel side is 400% over Exergy's. We're going to have a set of those, a single 14 mil race pump from Exergy and an Air Dog 200. We're gonna retain a factory fuel tank. We're trying to keep this truck as street as it can be for a lot of the no prep races you'll see. We'll, you'll have to have factory style location, uh, shocks, all that kind of stuff. And OEM fuel tank, no fiberglass, no gutted bed. And we have an 06 truck out in the, 06 truck out in the barn. And uh, it's, it's a roller right now. I bought it actually to become the race truck and long story short, the black truck did, but uh, it's more gutted than this truck is. The rear shocks are relocated. I went ahead and took the fuel tank out of it. It's gonna be mostly just a bracket truck and one that my wife's gonna race some. So uh, yeah, this is what we got guys. We're hoping to, we're hoping for that 1700 number. I know we're gonna have to put an awful lot of nitrous through it. So that's also something that we gotta get here soon. We're gonna put probably three kits, one being a spool jet on this truck, but we're probably not gonna make 2K on this turbo, but I feel like 1700 is more than feasible. We should be able to do 1700 on it. And then if we wanna try compounds or maybe one big Garrett later down the road and chase 2K, we'll do that. But uh, until then, if y'all like what you see and y'all wanna see some big horsepower numbers and possibly some carnage, y'all make sure to subscribe and like the video. It'll help out a lot. And I appreciate it. Tune in next time.